Hey there, what's happening? And welcome to another edition of The Fives. And for this episode, we're going to be getting a little bit spooky and a little bit goofy. I mean, it is the Halloween season after all, so it's very much appropriate to be doing both things. Spooky. And goofy. I don't know. Anyway, for this episode, we're going to be talking about metal monsters. And no, I don't mean the ones that are on the stage and the ones that rock your ears. I'm talking about the ones in your mind. The ones that haunt your brains after you look at their videos or their album covers and you see these abominations that represent these metal artists. But no worries though, most of them are harmless. I mean, I personally wouldn't be caught dead near any one of these creatures if they were to manifest in real life right in front of my eyes. But as far as art and fiction go, these things are pretty badass. So with that, here are our top five metal monsters. And for this list, I've pretty much just taken it down to what the most iconic ones are, which ones I think might pack the best punch when it comes to a scariness or creepiness. And honestly, when it comes to metal, we're talking about sheer badassery. So that's the criteria for what we're doing here for the top five metal monsters. <laughs> A skeletal figure dressed in a suit who's said to embody the phrase, see no evil, hear no evil, and speak no evil. As well as the symbol of censorship, his eyes have a piece of metal riveted over them, his ears have metal caps over them, and his mouth is clamped shut with these wire, wire type things. It is said that Vic is a reflection of what's wrong with the world, reminding fans that seeing, hearing, and saying nothing leads to despair on a global scale. A creation of band leader Dave Mustaine, Vic is described in the song The Skull Beneath My Skin from the album album Killing Is My Business and Business Is Good. The name Vic stands for victim and he has appeared on seven of Megadeth's album covers, most notably Megadeth's first four and most iconic albums. And he can be found somewhere in basically all of their albums. Sometimes you just kind of have to look for it. Kind of like a Where's Waldo, just a creepy version of it. All right, I know what you're saying with this one. It's Avenged Sevenfold's death bat, right? And you know what? You're probably right. Avenged, who has a history of paying homage to those who came before them, probably did the same thing here because Overkill predates Avenged Sevenfold by probably close to two decades. In any case, Overkill definitely did it first. And in my opinion, they did it way better. With horns on its head, bony ass wings and green lasers shooting out of its eyes. I mean, I feel like he'd fuck up Avenged Sevenfold's death bat any day, don't you? Ah, a very underrated and often swept under the carpet band because they're considered a hair metal band, Dangerous Toys had one of the most badass mascots ever. And I remember this thing clear as yesterday. Man, I think I got the wrong house. <laughs> Inspired by the 1988 cult film Killer Clowns from Outer Space, Bill Z. Bub is basically just your run-of-the-mill, fun-loving serial killer clown with a perpetual smile on his face. Not too psychotic. Look, I love Dangerous Toys' first album personally, and I think it ranks amongst the best of that era. But they're certainly most remembered for this bastard right here. This creepy clown, smiley, psychotic, just 
Look at them. Just fucking look at them. I bet they sold more t-shirts, patches, and posters than they did records by a long shot. And it's all because of this guy. His name is Bill Z. Bub. First appearing on Dio's first album, Holy Diver. Holy Diver! Holy Diver! You're not really sure if he's the actual devil or a minion of Satan himself. The legend goes, he's the escaped son of a Malkovian ruler who was trying to have him murdered and he was named Merle C. Merle C? Merle C. Merle C. Hansel? Dio named him Murray for short. That's much easier than saying Merle C. The story that's told is Dio found him in the forest after he slept for a trillion years. That's one hell of a nap. While looking for other myths and legends to write about, Dio was out there and he came across this demon. Oh shit, there's a demon. And from that point forward, Murray was by his side. Well, that resulted in a badass cover art for his first album, Holy Diver, his second album, Last in Line, and I think it was his third or his fourth album, Dream Evil is either his third or fourth album, not sure. On top of countless t-shirts and jackets and denim back patches and all that stuff that sit in closets and drawers of 80s metal fans across the world, no doubt. I'm sure you're all spooked out and creeped out as it is right now. But before we hit that number one, I want to remind you to please hit up my social media sites at Videos Beard on Twitter, on Facebook, Red Beard Videos. It's as simple as that. If you're already here, you know we're called Red Beard Videos. Just go on there. It's a group. We chat about things. I throw things out there. And you can have the discussion with us or you can just drop your shit right down in the comments right here because I love talking to you in the comments. And before we get to the number one, here are some honorable mentions on this Halloween season. Unquestionably, the most iconic mascot in metal history, and for good reason. I mean, look at this guy. Eddie the Head, you can't beat him. Not only is he awesome looking, I mean, look at him. But, like a true icon, he's versatile as fuck. From a fighter pilot, to a futuristic warrior, from an Egyptian ruler, to an army commander. Hell, this guy even had the devil on strings at some point. He is the beast prominent to maiden's look and image and lore for over four decades now i don't ever see there being another mascot in metal or rock history that'll even come close to matching the popularity of one eddie the head and that'll do it that's my list the top five most badass creepiest scary metal monsters of all time if you think differently please let me know down in the comments tell me all about it who did i miss there's 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 a bunch of them there's a lot of them out there 
There's a lot that I didn't mention. I just didn't think that they rivaled any of these monsters that I saw before me, especially when I got to Eddie the Head and, and Dio's Demon. I mean, it doesn't even come close. Dangerous Toys, Billzy Bub. You, tell, you mean to tell me that there's a cooler looking monster than that? Than those three? I don't think so. But by all means, please tell me in the comments. I want to hear all about it. And toss me a like. Hit that subscribe button. I have all kinds of things coming up. I got a new fandom files coming up. I got all kinds of things coming up. So please always hit me up here. And as always, thank you so much for being here with me. And until next time, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Happy Halloween, everybody. Don't waste your time, I'll be searching for more.